What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 25. Yes, this is the last Vlogmas. My name is Emma if you're new here and I've been posting every single day leading up to Christmas today in December for Vlogmas. But after this, I'm going to start posting every Sunday, which is what I typically do. My next video will be on January 2nd, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. But today is a very special day. Last Vlogmas, it is Christmas Eve for me, but Christmas for you guys. So we're going to get all into the holiday cheer. And this morning, it was kind of a slow morning. Just spent some time with my family. I ate my blueberry oatmeal. I had some coffee. It is all good, but it's already 9.30 a.m., so now I need to get right on into my Peloton workout for the day. So today I definitely am going a little bit harder because I anticipate at least tomorrow will be easier and really probably the whole next week I won't do like super hard Peloton workouts. It's the holidays, spending time with friends and family. I am very excited. It'll be very relaxing and then I go back to Los Angeles just before the new year. So I decided to do a hardcore stack for legs today. So it starts out with a 10 minute core strength class by Olivia Amato from June 8th, 2021 and then a 10 minute bar class with Hannah Corbin from June 9th, 2021. I'm getting back into bar I've kind of been avoiding it on the hardcore calendar, but the last time I did it wasn't bad, so it's time to get back into bar, work those muscles I'm not used to, and then I'll finish it up with a 20-minute glutes and legs strength class by Chase Tucker from November 25th, 2020. So good leg day. I definitely have a love-hate relationship with leg day. I don't mind doing the moves. I actually really enjoy doing uh, deadlifts and squats, but then it always kind of kills my legs for the bike, and I definitely wanted to hop on the bike today. I need to do some cardio because I definitely anticipate a lot of desserts later. So I'm going to do a 45-minute Hit and Hills ride by Hannah Frankson from September 22nd, 2021. I've had this class bookmarked for a while and just have never gotten around to taking it. I kind of wanted to take another Christmas ride today, but honestly, when I was looking through them, just nothing stuck out at me as something that would be super great. So then I just figured I'd rather take a normal ride than like force myself to try to do a ride that I wouldn't be into. So I'm excited to finally take this ride like Hit and Hills, like Hannah Frankson. Should be a good ride, definitely will be hard, especially after leg day. But you know, we're getting at it today. And then after that, I'm going to be doing a five minute cool down ride by Bradley Rose from October 6th, 2021, which I've done many times before. I like it. But then new to me, I'm going to be doing the five minute post ride stretch by Bradley Rose from August 13th, 2021. 21, and we'll see how Bradley does cooling me down. I have a lot of faith in him. I do really like him. So today's workout is on the harder side, but I think it'll be fun. And you know, we're not going anywhere for Christmas Eve. We're just relaxing here. So not like a super stressful day afterwards, just a lot of eating and a lot of holiday cheer. So I just figured I would get at it this morning. So let's just get right on into this workout. <laughs> I come up from working out and my mom has made these chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. They're like the Hilton recipe, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to snag one. Hot cookies out of the oven are the best. I just finished my workout and I also snagged half a cookie from my mom's baking because hot cookies are just so good, but those cookies are really big. So I was like, you know what? Compromise, I'll only have half. So the workout was overall good. It was definitely interesting and not quite what I was expecting. The 10 minute core strength by Olivia Amato was not my favorite, mostly because I just thought it was really hard. We got like no recovery time and I just don't like when there's no recovery time. So there was like a little bit, but not a lot of recovery essentially. So not my favorite, probably would not take again. The 10 minute bar class by Hannah was super hard. You did five minutes on one side and then five minutes on the other side and the moves don't look hard, but if you're just not used to the moves, it was really burning out my butt. Like my butt is going to hurt tomorrow, but that's okay. 
okay. That's the point of leg day, building muscle. But yeah, definitely a hard class, but I did like it. And if you like bar, I would recommend it. And I think I want to like try to take this class more often and see if I can get better at it. Because right now I was really struggling. So like if I kept working at it, could I get better? I think so. So I think that this would be a good benchmark class for me. And then afterwards, the 20 minute glutes and leg strength class was good. It was majority squats. We did 100 squats. We did 10 sets of 10 squats and that took like 15 minutes. So that was the majority of the class. I will say say that he at the end was like oh look you did 100 squats like that you didn't realize and it's like no I did realize we were doing a lot of squats but if you want to work on squats like it is a good workout you do a lot of squats it's going to you know help you build up leg strength so it was an okay class I think not like my absolute favorite but it still was a good class and I would take again and then the 45 minute hit in hills ride by Hannah Frankson is going on my favorites list so the next time I do a Peloton favorites video it will definitely be on it. Hannah was on one during this class. We did the warm-up in the warm-up after like three minutes we're already doing like out of the saddle pushes and then we come back then we go into a Tabata set so all of the hip portions were low cadence high resistance and then the push was high cadence high resistance and i like those kind of pushes so we did tabata of that then we did a hill then we went back to just regular hit where we did a similar kind of like low cadence high resistance and then high cadence high resistance and then we just kept alternating till the end of the class but it was definitely hard hannah was panting very hard i was also panting very hard and she's like yeah this is just to remind you that like you can do hard stuff and honestly I needed that reminder it was the highest output that I've had in a while it wasn't a PR ever since I've started doing strength my cardio has really suffered and I've had way lower outputs which I'm okay with but it was nice to push myself today and like get closer to what I used to do pre-strength and it was it was a good workout it reminded me that you know I can start taking some hard rides and really get into it the music was good Hannah was great Highly, highly recommend that ride. Just know like it's going to be hard, but you will feel good afterwards. And then of course my Peloton broke again. I don't know why it's acting up all of a sudden because I was fine for like the entire month, but basically I just couldn't start the cooldown ride. So I just did it on my phone, but the cooldown ride was good. And then I also liked the post ride stretch. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who commented on my Vlogmas two days ago about how I can make the figure four stretch like actually feel something in my muscles and a lot of people recommended doing it on the floor which i did and then another person recommended to lean back instead of down and that's 100 percent what i was doing wrong i kept trying to lower myself when you should be leaning back because as soon as i started leaning back i could feel it so much more before i could not feel it at all and today i could feel it i think that leg stretches are always like easier to feel once i've also done leg day so that probably helped but yeah, leaning back really, really helps. So if you have problems with feeling the figure four stretch, I highly recommend trying to lean more back instead of down. And I really enjoyed the Bradley Rose stretch. I will probably take it again. It was better than the average post-ride stretch, in my opinion. I like the stretches that we did. So that was my workout for today. And then I got the cookie, which was good. And now it's already almost 12. So I'm going to shower and then we can, you know, eat lunch and start making this charcuterie board. I have the charcuterie board and then here are our ingredients that I'm still gonna have to cut, but we got some prosciutto. And then I also have this goat cheese from Aldi's. I did try a little bit of it. I wasn't like the hugest fan, but we don't have that much cheese, so it's going on the board. And then some garlic ring bologna. So we'll have to figure out a good way to present this, but it is very good. It just won't look that fancy. And then some brie. And then I have this rosemary prosecco clementine jam that I thought we could throw on some organic sourdough flatbread bites which are going to be our crackers and then we have this pack of like normal nuts and then these are like sweet and sour nuts so i think first we need to cut up the cheeses and the bologna i just cut up the cheeses and i think this is the vibe we're going for but i'm not sure cut up a ton of ring bologna and then also have the prosciutto so 
Now it's time to start adding things to the board. I think the jam should probably go in the middle, but then there's like not a lot of room for other things. These cheeses took up more space than expected. So we'll see. Let me try some things. This is the final product. I'm pretty happy how it turned out. I ended up not using the like sweet and sour almonds I had because there was enough nuts to fill the board. And I figured we probably wouldn't finish even this. So I didn't want to put like more on it. But I like it. I don't know how I feel about these like three rings, but it felt empty if there wasn't something and I didn't have much more to put on the board. Definitely next time I'd get like grapes or something just to add a little more color. It's very meat and cheesy right now. But overall, it turned out really well. I'm happy with how it turned out. It was my first charcuterie board. I need to like watch more videos and get better at it, but I like it so far. So it's almost already one. I'm going to like graze on this for the rest of the day and same with my family, but I do want to eat a little bit of food besides that for lunch because I can't eat just like meat and cheese for lunch. So I'm going to eat this chicken and corn casserole leftovers. I need to heat it up. It'll look a little bit better heated up first, but I'm going to eat that and graze on the board a little bit. And then I'll report back on how I feel about this charcuterie board. Just got a can of Waterloo seltzer as well. My mom is like, you should drink wine while you eat the charcuterie board which I normally agree with, but it is 1 p.m., so a little early to start drinking for me. I think that I'm done grazing on the charcuterie board for now, but we'll definitely come back later. My final verdict is very good, but I do not like the jam. It tastes almost like orange jam, which I guess makes sense because it's like clementine jam. I don't know. It does not work with the cheese in my opinion. I think it's mostly because I just don't like the flavor. So that's a little sad because I usually do like jam. But besides that, the prosciutto is good. The ring bologna is good. Both cheeses very good. And the nuts were good. So really like it all. And Hopefully my family will also graze on this. We probably won't finish everything, but then I'll just like put it back in the fridge. So what a fun Christmas Eve activity. Here is the damage I did. You could tell I was sitting on this side of the table. This is the charcuterie board after my parents took a crack at it. So it actually seems like the least favorite thing was the cheeses, which I think is funny because that is the point of the charcuterie board, right? But... We ate a lot of the meats, the nuts, the crackers, but I'm going to put away the cheese for now. We'll just eat it another day, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. It is now mid-afternoon and I'm here with my mom to ask her about her ride of the day. So what ride did you do? I did a 30-minute holiday ride with Tunde from last December, December 21st, 2020. 30-minute ride. And what do you think of it? I liked it a lot. Uh, my only surprise was in the middle there was an arm segment, which I didn't realize until I got on the bike and started pedaling. She but, really snuck it in there. Well, I didn't. I guess didn't pay enough attention or whatever. But it was a good ride, and my output was pretty high considering there were three minutes of arm stuff in the middle. So yeah, it was a good ride. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> We gave Luca a Christmas handkerchief to wear, and it was quite the hit in the neighborhood, but Luca is not a fan. He is trying to rip it off right now. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> You're like a horse that needs blinders. Well, we got it now. Oh, you were so handsome with it. So handsome. A handsome boy. Yes. So in the middle, there was three minutes of arms, which I was not expecting. Um, and I struggled a little bit getting my weights from the back of the bike. And, you know. Well, only one way to get yeah, better. Yeah, I guess. A lot of people think Tunde is the best instructor for arms. Oh, maybe. Because yeah. she has like very, very yeah, toned arms very if you look. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So I survived. It was a good ride. It was a good ride. Ooh, so... Yeah. Better than Ali? Better than uh, Hannah? Yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah, I would put her right kind of probably even with Hannah. Yeah, I probably like her. Yeah, 
she wasn't squeaky. I decided that's what I think is some of the so. squeaky. She wasn't squeaky. So. Yeah, she's there yeah. to get down to business. Yeah. A lot of people really like Toon Day. I like Toon Day. I just, I'm like, not huge on her music choices usually, so I don't take a lot of classes uh, from okay, her. It was okay, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. it was Christmas music, yeah. so. Yeah. Well. Yeah, no complaints. The last that's interview. <laughs> Well, you'll have Anything. to wait till Vlogmas next year, yeah, I guess. Yeah, maybe you'll like someone else besides Sam Yeo by then. I doubt it, but maybe. Never we'll say see, never. it's a full year. Yeah, it is a long time. We'll see if I'm still riding. For Christmas Eve dinner, does not look fancy, but it'll be good. A lasagna, home cooked by my mom, the lasagna chef, and some bread. And then I'll also have a salad that I haven't made yet. Good Christmas Eve dinner. Corgi snowman cookie for dessert. It is now 7.30 and we're about to watch a movie as a family. It's called Don't Look Up. It just came out on Netflix today. I think it's about scientists like predict that an asteroid is going to hit Earth, but nobody believes them. But the cast is completely stacked. Like the main characters are Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. And then like Meryl Streep's in it, Ariana Grande, Timothy Chalamet, like there's a ton of really popular celebrities in it. So we'll see. I'm not a huge movie person. The last movie I saw was Dune in theaters. And the only reason I saw that is because Chris severely misled me and told me that Zendaya was a main character, even though she was only in it for like four minutes. But I thought that it would be a fun movie to watch and I'm going to make spiked eggnog for my mom and I. My dad's also going to have it, but he is undecided what kind of alcohol to put in it right now, because I think the popular alcohol to put in it is rum, but we don't have rum. So my mom and I are going to drink it with whiskey, and my dad thinks he might have it with vodka, which I'm not completely convinced about that either, but you know, we'll just have to see. We were going to make eggnog from scratch this year but then that just didn't happen so my mom just bought store-bought eggnog and it's like the store brand so we'll have to see how it tastes but I do really like eggnog. The recipe is one part alcohol and then I think four parts eggnog. It might be five parts. I do have a shot glass to measure it out but we also might have to uh, make some changes on the fly depending on the taste. Okay, this is very separate. I did mix it. It's the alcohol is not mixing into the eggnog. Taste test. I'm going to add another part eggnog. So one part alcohol, five parts eggnog. My dad read a review of this movie that you will cry during it, but not from laughter. I think because it's bad, but we'll see. I do not have a lot of faith in this movie, but I think it will be a fun Christmas Eve activity. We finished Don't Look Up and no one in my family really liked it. I would say my dad is kind of a big movie person, but my mom and I aren't. So definitely take our reviews with a grain of salt. But I think we all just thought it was very, very long. And it was about what I expected. Like, I didn't expect some great movie. And I knew that it was mostly just because of such a star-loaded cast. But... I just didn't like it that much. It felt very, very long, very stretched out. Like if it was an hour shorter with the same plot, I think it would have been a lot better. It just really dragged on. But there were some funny parts. It's just that it was so long that I felt like, especially towards the end, there was like less and less funny parts. But you know, you win some, you lose some. It was still a fun thing to do with family and the eggnog was quite good. We did enjoy that. But with that, I'm going to wrap up Vlogmas for the year. I just want to say thank you so much for all of the nice comments during Vlogmas. It was a lot of fun, definitely a lot of work, way more than I thought it would be to produce a vlog every day. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys have fun watching it. And I hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate. And I will see you in my next video next year. Bye!